There's a pull shot, has he got it? He certainly has, Australia needed someone to stand up and today it's Steve Smith. His first hundred in Australia. Two great things happening today. I've got the great Steve Smith with me and we're also going to talk about the great summer of 2013, 2014. An Ashes whitewash smudge, good times. Good times, good times. A while ago now, you know, I remember starting that summer, I was under a bit of pressure. I just thought I had a few starts where I probably should have gone on to make a, a big score and to get that first one in at the Wacker, form a partnership with Hads and get us out of a bit of trouble was special and kind of moved on from there. Didn't you change the technique or something halfway through? I was a tinkerer, oh, I didn't change <laughs> oh, oh, did you now? <laughs> I had a couple of techniques across the journey. But. You know, they were bowling a lot of balls back of a length and some short stuff, and I just wanted to get myself in a better position to, to get inside the ball and play a pull shot. So I started going back and across with my right foot, and sort of everything just clicked into place. I was getting good momentum through the ball. I knew where my off stump was, and when they were bowling short, I was just in a good position to play it. So that was the start of my back and across movement. Everyone looks at the scorecard and goes, oh, it was 5 0, but. Nearly every test had a moment where it was like, oh, this is on a knife's edge and was sort of going one way or the other. It was one of those series, wasn't it? I think Hads was amazing. He probably didn't get enough credit for what he did. I think he got 50 in every first innings of that series. We all remember it for being Jono's series. And of course, he was unbelievable, bold like the wind and was exceptional. But Hads would have been pretty close, I reckon, to being player of the series as well. All the tail runs and back of the middle order runs saved us on a few occasions. Any other sort of favourite moments that come to mind? Honestly, standing at slip for Jono, it just looked like you could take a wicket every ball. You could see the fear in the batter's eyes every time they came out to bat, particularly the tail, knowing that he was going to go after them. And I think you might have had a little chat with Jimmy at one point at bat pad, and there was a bit going on there. Mate, that was pretty innocuous. <laughs> I think he was just looking for someone to have a pick a fight with, yeah. and I was the easy target. The thing I love about the Ashes is that you've got, in Australia, you've got the Aussie crowd that are obviously right behind you, but the Barmy Army make it pretty special too. When you've got the Barmy Army out here in Australia, then you've got the Aussies. It's kind of like they're almost going against each other in the crowd and, you know, the tunes that the Barmy Army play. I don't like to listen to the lyrics a great deal, but some of the tunes, they just stick <laughs> with you. That's what got me in with Jimmy. <laughs> I just, they're catchy. They're catchy. Yeah, they, they are. They know what they're doing there. I've given you so many openings to talk about this, trying to ask what your favourite memories. Do you not remember getting your bunny? How many bunnies do you have with the ball? I reckon, I'm going to say two bunnies. Yeah, two. I reckon KP's another one. I got KP out, I reckon, five, six times in one day cricket. But the other one, Ian Bell, I reckon I've got him six, seven times. Do you remember getting him in this series? Caught mid on, yeah. A full bunger, another standard leggy wicket, just lobbed it up. Dipped on it. Bit of top spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Righto, thanks mate, that's a hell of a summer. You're about to embark on another one, so wish you all the best. Good on you. Thanks mate.